Hey, I'm Josh with Jellyfish Lighting. In this video, I'm going to explain ports and the physical wiring of your Jellyfish Lighting System to help you understand how to set up zones, which are sections of lights you group together logically. For example, the front and the backyard. When setting up a zone, you have to choose which ports were used to power that section. All lights are hardwired to your controller. Multiple wires may have been used to connect your lights to your controller. A Jellyfish Pro 2 controller has up to four ports. Therefore, up to four wires may be connecting your lights to your controller. When setting up a zone, it may include part of the lights connected to a port, all of the lights connected to a port, or a group of lights spanning multiple ports, meaning there were multiple wires used to power that section of lights. The default for each port is 512 lights because each port can potentially communicate with up to 512 lights. As a side note, a controller cannot power that many lights without an auxiliary power supply, but a single port can communicate with 512 lights nevertheless. Let's look at an example in the Jellyfish showroom. We have 24 lights on the upper section. We have 43 lights on the lower section for a total of 67 lights. Now let's look at the controller to see how it's physically connected to the lights. Here it is. Now we'll remove the cover so we can see how everything is set up. Here are the ports. It looks like the first two ports are connected. On a larger installation, the installation team might have connected up to all four ports. Now let's reinstall the cover. We recognize that it may not be very easy to know how your home or business is wired, so I'm going to show you how to determine the number of lights connected to each port on your Jellyfish system just by using the app. First, delete all of the zones that are currently defined in your system. The reason we are going to do this is that only one light can belong to a single zone. And if a zone is already created, it won't be as easy to map out. By default, your controller will be set up to have only one zone called All Lights. The All Lights zone will mirror the information on port 1 to ports 2, 3, and 4. Also, by default, your controller assumes that each port is connected to 512 lights. If no new zones have been created, this will be the only zone you see. Please delete it. You can always revert to this zone by selecting Setup, Config, and press Set Default Zone List. So, to delete a zone, do this. Press the Setup button, then select the Zone page. On my app, I have the default zone All Lights defined. To delete this zone, press the three dots before the zone is expanded, like this. Then, select the Delete button. It then asks for confirmation. Select Yes. Next, we're going to define a test zone. And in that test zone, we'll keep changing which lights are a member of it. That's how we will determine, that's how we will know how to determine the wiring of the home. Press Add Zone. As you can see from the display on the app, any of the ports can be selected. Ports 1, 2, 3, or 4. Remember that a controller can potentially talk to 512 lights per port, although the controller cannot power that many lights without an auxiliary power supply. So let's see what we've got. So currently port 1 is selected, and the start position is number 1, and the end position is number 1. As I look at the display, I can see there is a single light illuminated. That must be the first light of port 1. Let's see how many lights are connected to port 1. The starting and ending lights are always marked blue. I'm going to increment the end position to see how many lights illuminate. It looks like there are 43 lights. Now, let's see if I increase the end position even more. If the lights illuminate on the upper section of my display. I'm going to increment to 50. No more lights are illuminating, so I know that there must only be 43 lights connected to port 1. Now, let's see how many lights are connected to port 2. After selecting port 2, I can see a single light illuminated. Let's see how many lights are set up on this port. I'm going to increment to see how many there are. It looks like there are 24 lights on the upper section. 
Notice that the first light is blue, the last light is blue, and all lights in between are white. If I try to add more lights, no more lights illuminate. So I must only have 24 lights on this port. So now I know that port 1 has 43 lights and port 2 has 24 lights on it. If I had more lights, I would keep trying new ports and increment, incrementing the lights. So this is an example of how to use the app to diagnose how many lights are connected to each port. This information is necessary for zone configuration. Please see the zone setup video for more information on this. As always, thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoy your lights.